What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my lovely voice. I am a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder, said toxic traits, said toxicity everywhere, y'all. Today's episode is going to be about why do narcissists stop love bombing you? Why do narcissists fall out of love with you? Oh, whatever, whatever terminology I want to use. I know people are going to push back when I hear it from when, I, when I say uh, fall out of love with you. Like, narcissists never love you in the first place, Lee. You, how dare you? I, I, I got it, y'all. I, I got it. Trust me. Um, before we get started on today's episode, y'all, just check out the channel memberships. If you follow me on YouTube channel, more perks, behind the scenes type stuff, polls, uh, priority responses, the comments. Just hit the join button on the front page, or just, you know, the link is gonna be in the description of every video, y'all. So, 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 welcome back. Why do narcissists stop love bombing you? So, during the love bombing phase, the very first phase of a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person. It is referred to as the love bombing or idealization phase. During this phase, the narcissistic person typically is love bombing you and giving you and trying to give you everything that you everything that you want, everything that you need. And a lot of people say, why, Lee, why? Do narcissists really care about you in this stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I truly believe that a lot of narcissists do care about you in this stage, right? I know people are gonna say just they, they never cared about you. They never, 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 man. All right, Batman. Um <clears throat> But during this stage, I truly believe that a lot of narcissists and toxic people do absolutely care about you. It's just in their in their minds, they're giving you everything you want and need because you are perfect for us. You are in this stage, you are perfect for me. Like I didn't think I would find the one, but I found them in you. And I could have been loved by somebody else. But this this just feels different. I don't know. It's something about you. I put you on this, I literally put you atop this pedestal right here. You know what I mean? You are top this pedestal. I put you are perfect in my eyes. You are literally a perfect person in my eyes. Are you perfect? No, nobody's perfect, y'all. That's not me trying to be disrespectful. Perfection does not exist in human beings. There was one perfect person. If you want to argue with it, you can say Jesus, but perfection does not exist in human beings. We are all we all come with our flaws, right? But in a narcissist's mind, you are perfect. We create this perfect image of you doing this, doing this idealization phase. That's what idealization is. We are idealizing you. You are an idea. You are the perfect thing for us. You are, you, you are the, how did I get so lucky? How did I get so blessed? This is why, like, and we feel so good about ourselves inside, right? During the love bombing idealization phase, we feel so good about ourselves inside and we want to make you feel the same way that we feel. Like, oh my goodness, you make me feel so good because you're perfect that I want to make you feel good because you're perfect. You see what I'm saying? And there's no set time limit on how long this phase goes, y'all. This phase can last a, long, a very, very long time or it can be a very, very short period of time. You know what I mean? And I just tell people like, love bombing, it, it happens, so, and it doesn't happen so quickly, but it happens to a lot of people. Not everybody gets love bombed, but it does happen to quite a bit of people. And this is why I tell people, I just, y'all, love bombing is going to happen. You have to be prepared for it, any way, shape, or form. You just have to. And that's how the, the, the mind of a narcissistic person works. You got to be prepared for the love bombing phase. We are, during this stage, y'all, you're perfect to us. Like I said, during this stage, you are perfect to us. And you probably, and you are probably feeling good. You are probably feeling amazed. You didn't, you didn't think a love like this existed, but guess what? It does. You mean a love like this does exist. Um, it just gets into these dynamics and whatnot. It's just like, that's how it goes. You are on this pedestal. You are perfect for us. And guess what happens, y'all? Why does the love bombing stop? Because the perfect image that we had of you gets shattered. Your flaws pop up. And you, Lee, we all have flaws though. Why can't they see past the flaws? Because we thought you were a perfect person. But Lee, what is a flaw? Y'all, a boundary could be a flaw. Because we have this perfect image of you, now it's shattered, now it's fractured and whatnot. The perfect image that we had of you is now fractured, is now been destroyed. Now it, like I said, once they, once it, it's like taking a piece of glass. Once you break a piece of glass, it can never be put together the same way again, right? And because I can't put it together the same way again, I can't love and I can't feel about you the same way anymore. 
It is not your, look y'all, the, it has a lot less to do with you. The fracturing part of it, when the love bombing stops, it has a lot less to do with you than what you actually think. I know people are like, well, Lee, I just feel horrible. Y'all, again, it has a lot less to do with you than what you actually think. Because dealing with a narcissistic person, they're going to continuously do this type of stuff to you, y'all. Like, they're going to put, you're not responsible for the, you're, you are not responsible for us creating this perfect image of you and putting you on this pedestal. You didn't do that. You just existed. Unless you were lying. If you were lying, then we got an issue. But unless you were lying, it has a lot less to do with you. And it has a lot to do with the narcissistic person, how we think inside of our minds, right? So we're putting you on top of this pedestal and whatnot. And we keep putting you up there. We keep you up there. We do all this other good stuff. And then, bam, it just happens. Boom. Your flaws pop up. You're not perfect anymore. Again, y'all, you were not perfect from the beginning. I was not perfect from the beginning. That narcissistic person is damn sure not perfect from the beginning. But we thank you all. We created this image of perfection in you. So we didn't see any flaws in you. And then when one flaw pops up, bling. Two flaws pop up, bling, bling. When three, bling, bling, bling. Whatever, you know, so on and so forth. Once the image gets shattered, it doesn't get put back together the same way again. It just can't. It doesn't work that way, y'all. I know a lot of people, do, you get angry when I say that. But it's not your fault for getting put on the pedestal. Setting a boundary or saying the word no could literally be a flaw. That could literally shatter the perfect image that they have of you. You know what I mean? So if you just say the word, when you if you're so used to saying yes, because during the love bombing phase, you might not have wanted to turn anything down, right? You might have wanted to say yes to a lot of stuff because it made you feel good about the relationship. It made you feel good about what was going on, right? So in this space and inside of this dynamic, boom, it blows. Like I said, once you say the word no, we don't look at you the same way anymore. No, what do you mean no? Boom, got you. Boundary. I don't really like that boom back boundary. Like I said, I don't I'm not willing to do that. Boom, boundary. Now we don't look at you the same way anymore. And this again, y'all, it has a lot less to do with you than you think because you were not responsible for the perfect image that we created of you inside of our heads. That is not your fault. And a lot of people a lot of people blame themselves cuz I say you should you know, saying the word no can make them stop loving you. Somebody, people have responded to my comments and said, she's like, why, why did I say no? I wanted to just say yes to everything. Why did I say no? I'm like, wait, what? Why'd you say no? Because you didn't want to do it. That's why. Y'all got to stop beating yourself up over stuff like that, y'all. I'm just telling you, you're just like, why did I say no? I didn't want to do it. What? Come on, y'all. Come on now. You got to stand up. Stand up. You know, because you're not responsible for the love bombing stops. And once, like I said, once that love bombing stops, once the perfect image of you has been shattered, they start to look, narcissistic people, we kind of start to look, look at you like you misrepresented yourself, like you were a liar, like you're a phony, like you're fake. Now, who does that sound like? Who does that sound like? We thought you presented, we thought you presented yourself differently because guess what happens in the love bombing phase? The narcissistic person presents themselves differently. We come to you as who we need to be. We come to you as who we need to be, not who we actually are. And I think that right there bugs a lot of people when I say that. We narcissists typically show you who they can be, who we can be, not who we actually are moving forward with things like that. You know, so you have to empower yourself and take the necessary steps forward in order to be as strong as you possibly can. Because guess what? If you don't, you're going to get ran over. If you don't, you're going to get taken advantage of. If you don't, you're going to get manipulated for a very, very long time. Again, a love bombing phase, and like I said, you and you can't put it back together. It never will go back to the same again, y'all. The beginning is probably going to be the, the biggest part of the relationship with a narcissist because the love bombing can they can they give you little love pops? Yeah, they can give you like a little love pop, a little mini love bomb. But like I said, that's because the, when the glass shatters, the, the pieces are not completely evaporated or destroyed. They're still there. They're just broken. So they can still the, the the piece of the relationship is still there. So they might feel something for you and give you something here and there, you know, breadcrumb you a little bit, get you back into the relationship just so they can hoover you back in, so they can break up with you and things of that nature. But you have to be careful, y'all, and protect your peace because if you don't, I'm just saying you'll get love bond over and over and over again. You'll get sad as hell and you'll be mad at Lee Hammond for some reason. I'm like, what I, what I do? I didn't do nothing. I didn't. You know, anyway, anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all because, like I said, as much as y'all learn from me, I promise you, I promise you, promise you, learn even more from you. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.